Can I drive a censored motor with a sensorless controller? It's a quick answer, yes you can. How? Uh, you simply connect up the motor phase wires um, to the sensorless controller. You've got to completely ignore the whole sensor wires. The sensorless controller, obviously, by definition, doesn't need them. Um, is it safe? Yep, yeah, it's completely safe, provided that you connect everything correctly, and obviously, you just basic things like making sure that the controller and motor you've got is a good match. If you if you had a uh, a high powered motor and a little controller, you could you could pop it. But assuming you do the basic tests, uh, basic checks rather, then it's absolutely fine. Um, so why is it the case? Well, by definition, a sensorless controller operates without sensors. Um, a sensored motor is it's it's a brushless DC motor with sensors added, but you don't have to use the sensors if you don't want to. Um, as I said before, just to reiterate, you've got to make sure that the controller is a, is a good match for the motor in terms of electrical spec. If it's not, you may have problems, but you know, if you, as long as you've got that right, you'll be, you'll be fine. Uh, so what are the downsides? Well, it might, as you might expect, it might not perform exactly the same way that a sensor controller would. This is likely to be the case. The, the, the area that you tend to see potential issues is lower speeds or startup. Um, it does depend on the sensorless controller you've got, but you, you would normally expect it to be slightly different. Um, for more, I mean, I, we're not going to go into lots of detail on that in this video. This is just to cover this particular question that comes up quite a bit. For more information, we do have videos on sensored versus sensorless, the sort of pros and cons. Um, there's also lots of lots of articles and, and additional videos if you have a look at the website, zcodrive.com.